Hello, hard hats. Welcome back to Construction Simulator. I want to finish this house today so I get started back on the parking garage. Most of you have said, uh, well, I think actually all of you said, yeah, go on medium. Although watching me go on hard mode would be good, but a hundred or so deliveries of wood, uh, not wood, uh, sorry, soil being uh, taken out of that area would be a lot. And who knows how much hard it would be along the way. So I went ahead and I canceled out that contract. I restarted it and all I did was go down and meet her and have the conversation. So I'll have to start from scratch on that one. Uh, I got to do some ceiling wood here, sorry. Trying to pay attention to what I'm doing. So that's where we are. We're going to be doing most jobs on medium. Yeah, a couple of you have been caught out on the update thinking uh, every job starts on medium. But no, now they kind of start on hard for some unknown reason. But that's fine. We, we all lived and learned at this point, don't we? Let's go ahead and throw this down here. But we got to get this house built first. And then uh, we'll get back to working on the parking garage. Starting all over. Although I wasn't that far along into it anyway, so not that big of a deal. I know a few of you, uh, one of you did say, yeah, watching me do it on hard, you know, do it on hard, but yeah, you don't want to sit there and watch me do it for four hours just removing dirt. Now I know why they pay you $5 million in hard mode to do that rather than the million on medium. I suppose if you're doing multiplayer, and I don't know how many people you can have a multiplayer. I think four? Four people can do multiplayer. So if you got four people, I guess it could uh, go at a decent rate. Plus, if you like the challenge, that's also a thing. But the good thing is, as we found at the end of the last episode, I got that container finally off of my other trailer. So we're good to go there. I know now how to skip time. It was so easy, but uh, didn't find out until the end of the episode. But working at night time here is not that bad. It's not dark, dark outside. It's, it's kind of dark, but it's not dark, dark. Spin this around here. So I don't know if I get started on the parking deck today or not. All depends on how fast we get this house built. And if I want to take another job or not. Okay, what am I doing here? Alright, so I need some wood beams. <laughs> I know all about wood beams. Silver Run Forest on Farming Simulator. We, we, we make wood beams. So you want wood beams. That was a pallet of wood. Okay. Uh, are these wood beams? Yeah, these might be the wood beams. Having a big crane on site is always very, very handy. Oh, over here. And down. Can't wait to actually do the uh, yard work. We got uh, turf over there. We got some plants as well. Pallet of insulation. I would assume this one here is insulation. Looks like you want one over here. Up on the roof, I think it's got to go. Starting to go through that material. I just remembered, I brought, uh, mistakenly, I purchased a whole bunch of material for that garage job. I wonder, is it still down there, or did it go into my warehouse? Or did it just vanish? Not that that 
big of a deal. Uh, we make money relatively well here. So I will be playing on medium all the way through. Uh, if I if I don't accidentally go on hard mode again, but my economy should be on easy. Uh, sorry, uh, easy is off. I do believe. I have to double check that. I wonder if they reset that setting as well after last update. Let me check settings here. Uh, gameplay. Easy economy is down at the bottom, and no, it's still, it's, it's off. So, yeah, we're all set there. Alright, uh, unpack the material. Let me get the crane out of the way, though. Hope I'm going to unpack the material that's on the roof. I'm... Okay, and uh, a lot of the stuff got built. Okay. Jump back into the crane, I think. Up we go. There's three of them here, apparently. I uh, don't know where I'm going with them just yet. Oh, way over here. All right. Now we'll get the one... Whoa. Get the one in the middle, because why not? Let's make it difficult for us. Kind of glad I also went all my skill points in the crane early on, because we use the crane everywhere. Basically. <laughs> and it seems like we're using it a lot on every job. Actually, what did we start at? Like it was like 44% of the job was done when we started the episode and we're already up to 62%? kind of weird how it goes up. You can do a lot of work and only go up 5 or 6%, then the next thing you know, you go up quite quite fast. Wall element wooden frame. Okay, so we got this must be because we pulled that wood beams out. Just glad I'm not buying this house. Any house I, I have to crane to build things, I wouldn't... Uh, would not want my house to be built by me. No thanks. Of course, I say that uh, I've done a lot of work on my house <laughs> in real life, so. But I didn't use a crane to work on my own house. Uh, what was that? Some XP and some cash? Okay. Four of these. Uh, not here? Okay, where am I going with it then? Oh, that one wants to go there. Gotcha. That one's a different size than these three, apparently. But I'm assuming about 20 minutes or so, someone's going to have a nice home to move into. Just in time for the holidays.
Okay, unpack construction material. Uh, I think that was the one I put on the roof. Or, sorry, the roof of the first floor. So, can I go up the stairs? Yeah, I said up the stairs. Yep, there we go. I'm assuming it's in here. This stuff? It is. Excavate planting pit. Oh, planting pit, not planting. Planting. Um, uh-oh. Am I stuck? Got stuck there for a second. Is my excavator up here? It is. Okay. I mean, this is the one that's here, so we'll, we'll go ahead and use it. Uh, can I get in? There we go. The one thing you never want to do in asphalt with a, with a crawling tractor is to do a turn on, on site like that. That would be not good. <laughs> Let's get the one in the back first. Still got the camera on. No, let's switch from camera to this. Oh, I didn't invert the controls. All right. Uh, yep. And that one's done. So we'll put the dirt right here in case I got to put it back in. Yep. Down is up. Up is down. Yeah, not deep enough. Let's put the dirt in there. Alright, let's go ahead and get back into the crane. See, they want the sod. And paving stones. And then, of course, the trees. I don't think that's enough sod for the whole lawn, but that's, that's just me. But then again, I've never done sod before, so maybe that's more sod than what I think it is. here. Careful on the house. Those are paving stones. That's going to ruin the wood. And of course now the tree saplings. Uh, I don't think I would need a crane for this, but crane would uh, make it much easier on your back. You gonna make me backfill that too or not? That's the question. I do got the biggest dozer in the game over there. I can backfill it with that and be done with it really quick. Although I didn't pile the dirt in the best spot to use the bulldozer to if I do it if I do have to backfill it's gonna be kinda of tight over there. Extremely tight. Uh nope, don't want to backfill it. I think we're going to be done with the crane. Am I unpacking it? Don't think so. Is this one supposed to be unpacking? There we go. Got to get in the right spot, I suppose. Alright, paving stone. Clear the construction site. Alright, well, I guess the crane's got to go bye-bye. And dismantle. Okay, and then me along with the excavator, so I might as well just get in the excavator. And back it on out. Let's 
speak with the foreman. Uh, so it's done. It always gets me, you do that much work and 11% of the job is to speak with the foreman. Um, it's not quite done in my opinion, but uh, okay. Oh, just, just like that. Cue the dramatic music. All right. Well, there, there's that. So, um, well, I guess we're going to go back on down to our garage job, which means do the job I did before. I do want to get started on that. Can I, can I jump in here? There we go. And we are going down to here. So let's fast travel. Now the job should go a lot quicker. Although this job didn't take me that long the first time I did it. That was on hard difficulty, so now on easy difficulty, well, easy, easier. that I'm removing it but getting the top layer off yeah this is going a little bit quicker than the first time <laughs> way to do it, but uh, it's going around the edges so that way we can start going back and forth. It seems like it's a giant leap from medium to hard difficulty. Like, I think uh, from what they said when they in the update, they said that's what people wanted. They wanted hard was not hard enough. So they upped it. Uh, Ma'am, I, I do believe you're on the wrong side of that fence over there. You may want to uh, get back on the other side, although not much harm is going to happen to you for what I'm doing. off the site so it can clear. Park it right across the street in front of the hotel, Hotelio, because, um, you know, they won't mind at all, right? Right, let's hop out of there. So might as well just go install install the crane and get those moved these pieces moved. Get these three pieces out of here rather quick.
So before, I remember I did five, so medium is three pieces, hard was all five. The biggest test is going to come when it's time to remove the dirt. earth ramp right, we can do that I think let's get the crane out of the way as best I can that should be high enough I think well earth ramp would be good with the bulldozer not not in there in in, in there can we there we go pushing forward. There you go. Well, I was already 52% done. the area. So there's the ramp already done. Alright, excavate construction pit. Kind of where we're at before. Although they did this part I think they cleared out this part for us. So probably the wheel loader and dump truck. And I don't know where those are currently. I think the dump truck was down here. I don't know if it's still here. Nope. Uh, what's that's the vehicle dealer. Where was my other site here? Excavator. Nope. Did they move it down here? It might actually be. reset into the garage yeah I see the dump truck right there uh, enter store sell I don't remember where I left it so I guess I want to enter I have no idea where we're going Oh, that's right. I left it here after selling the dirt. Okay, that meant that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm like, where the heck am I, man? We were selling the dirt from here. Let's get it down into the pit, and then we'll grab the wheel loader with a bucket on it. figure out how I want to bring it in here and I couldn't make, make up my mind on the way down the ramp until the last second. Alright, so now the wheel loader. There it is. And we'll enter... That's not in the warehouse either? Okay. Last I knew, it was right here down by the site. And I have no idea where I am.
But now we do. We'll be at the uh, parking lot site. All right, let's see how much we get done with just a bucket on this one. Now, do I want to just scoop, scoop from the bottom? I think that's what I'm going to try to do. Probably not the best plan. All right, so that's already 3% done. That's at a better rate than it was before. But that still, me still means about... Uh, I guess we got a little bit of dirt left in there. It's okay. Still means about 33 scoops or so. Yep, about 33 scoops, so it's still a big process, but not as bad as before. Uh, whoops, you know, dump trucks are fine. I will be selling this dirt, get some money for it, might as well. Now I probably could just go ahead and scoop, you know, scoop this dirt and put it to the side. Well, I'm going to go ahead and sell it. And how many scoops will it be to fill up this dump truck? If it's this many scoops, then... Uh, am, I not, am I going over the side with that? No, I don't think so. Well, I, I kind of am. And that's as high as I could raise the bucket right now. Alright, so I am losing some dirt over the side. I think the dump truck is definitely full. But, if I can go ahead... That just happened. Uh, if I can go ahead and sell it for, I forgot how much we were selling it for. I think like seven grand, maybe. Uh, I think the sell point was kind of behind me when I spawned in. Or, no, oh, it's over here. Almost behind me. That's the camera. We want to do this. And we'll get our money once we take off. Yeah, so 7,300 is not too bad. So 10 loads, that's, you know, 70 grand worth. So I'm going to go ahead and dig away at this, get this job done. It's not going to take me three hours, uh, probably 15, 20 minutes or so, and then uh, we'll see what's next. Well, hopefully just one more load of dirt out of here, and we'll have this step completed. Getting pretty good. I think most of the loads are brought down after the first load with you guys I started getting like 8,000 oh, I forgot to do the camera thing there we go yeah, there we go I'm starting to get used to the controls a little bit more I inverted the controls for the wheel loader yeah the controls are separate for everything so uh, which is fine I guess but definitely got the wheels inverted uh, 
when I pack the way I would like them on the wheel loader, so getting a lot better with that. Yeah, I'm getting the dump truck much more fuller than I was before. I probably, I, I know I'm overloading it, but I think most of the dirt I might be getting could be going on the ground and disappearing. I was getting like uh, like 73, then I got to se like 7,600 of dirt. Now I'm getting like upper 800s, 800s, 8,000. 6 more percent of dirt. Yeah, this is much better than the do not on hard mode. I do not want to be here for 3 hours removing this dirt. I think putting a skill point into having a bigger dumpster or being bigger capacity would be nice. Of course, right, 99%, so I'll probably grab the buck and it'll say 100%. I think the dirt that overspills just disappears. There's 100%. And if I just dump this back in here, what happens? Nothing. Alright, so I'm going to leave that there. I will clear the area. Oops. Can I, can I get over that? Come on, Atlas. You can do it. Okay, maybe not. Can you back up at least? Alright. And then we'll go sell this dirt. See how much I get for it. I know I'm overloaded on it. So you can see how much dirt we cleared out here. Good amount. I didn't really time myself, but I think it almost took me 25 minutes to do it. And we'll get our $8,000 at least for this soil that we're bringing in. And you can see on the right hand side where it's yellow. That's what my dumpster should be able to hold and I'm in the red so I'm overloaded. Well, we got some XP and some cash. We're over $2 million in the bank account now. So now I got to figure out all that material that I brought down here the first time. Did that material just disappear or did it go in my warehouse? 8,373. I think my best low was 8,800 of soil that I brought in. All right, I'm going to go ahead and just park this over here. All right, let me go company warehouse. Nope. Uh, okay, so it's in my warehouse. All right, uh, see, I want to add. How come I can't add that? All right, deliver to job site one is what I want to do. So let's go ahead and we'll accept that, get that stuff delivered there. Let's go ahead and put the crane in. I don't know if I got everything delivered here. Wait, my crane is already... Oh, sorry, I put the crane up to move that stuff. Uh, where did they get delivered to? I think it's over there. Is my crane going to be able to reach that? Hopefully it will. Uh, get my camera angle where I want it.
I don't know why I couldn't deliver all the rebar mesh. You only let me select one. Swing it all the way over. And hopefully the crane reaches it. Yeah, it does it with ease. Okay, pallets of wood and vapor retarder. I don't know if these are pallets of wood. Because the pallets of wood sometimes look like wood beams to me. That's stone, sand, and bulk in those. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy does it. So I gotta get one more rebar mesh down here, which is in my warehouse. Whoa, that's a camera glitch right there. Yeah, sure. We're on this one. We'll go ahead and grab this one. Or that one. Either one. Alright. Pallets of Vapor Retarder and Rebar Mesh. Okay, so I don't have all that. All right, no problem. Uh, what we need to do then is go to the building materials store, which is, that's vehicle dealer, gas station. It's down here somewhere. That's the uh, prefab walls. That's the building yard. Wait, is it building yard? It's not the building yard. I thought there was a building materials down here, but I cannot find it. So I'll go to the one north of town, which is way up here. And I just want to go ahead and enter. And then of course we want to filter by the job. Um, well, let's go ahead and add that. I'm just going to have five because I don't know if it knows I already delivered one up there or not. Uh, pallet of vapor retarder. I'm going to get all four of those. Um, wood beams. I'm going to go ahead and just grab a couple of these and Deliver to 3255 to deliver. You know what? I don't care because we're going to pay like a million dollars for this job. Yeah, so I don't know if the store takes in consideration that you already have one down there at the job site. Or when you go to the store to just say, okay, they need six for the job, so you want all six? Okay, two pallets of uh, vapor retarder. Which... I'm not really sure I know what that looks like, but I'm going to guess is that... Wow, this crane is just driving me nuts right now. Let's hope this is a vapor retarder. Yep, it is. So 
So I do want to get one step in all campaigns done, although we already got the harbor completely done. I think to actually upgrade our company, I may need to complete two campaigns completely. The college one, that was a that was a long job. Building the college. The harbor ones weren't that bad. Alright. Okay, that all got built for us. Cleared, marked area. Poor slab foundation. I'm just going to go ahead and bring the crane over here because we know all about that. Alright, when it says poor slab foundation, can I just do that with my cement truck? I think so. Is that still at this job site? No. Company, vehicle fleet. Uh, I didn't store it, so where is it? I'm glad that you can just teleport right to the vehicle because... Okay, it said there's only two vehicles here, which was the excavator and the truck, but my cement truck is here. Of course, I gotta keep repairing and refueling my vehicles uh, at least a total of 50 times. also upgrade our company so you got a little bit of concrete in here well, I can just drive right over that huh uh, let's see he shoot on on the camera. Wag your tail a little bit here, Mr. Cement Truck. No problem, we can refill it for $18,594. It's the price we pay. Drive right in the cement. Nope. Want to go this way? Best way to pour concrete. Just ignore that you're driving in your own cement. And it's great for the truck too. I'm 61% done. And I can also drive right through the rebar that's already up for the pillars. Uh oh. Am I stuck? Nope. There we go. I got myself free.
I don't think I have to cover as much as I'm trying to get covered because I'm already at 85 percent. So I'm going to start turning myself around as I let it fill on up as best as it can. And we are at 100%. Yeah, let's get this out of here. Pretty sure I'll be needing that again. All right, into the crane. Rebar mesh and pallets of vapor retarder again. Grab the rebar mesh first. So I think everything is out of my warehouse. This progress is going much faster than it would have if I stayed on hard mode. Which my camera angle every time you get into something will just stay the same. Seems like every time you go get back into a piece of equipment it just goes back to its default setting. Okay, palace of va vapor retarder. Which one is up here. I think next skill point I'm going to put into is more capacity in dump trucks, whichever one that one is. So I'll probably start uh, going to the to the pits more and delivering and getting more cash. Not that we need it, but. It's always nice to see the money go up and up and up and up and up. Pour the ramp. Just gonna get the crane back out of the way over to here. Well, pouring the ramp seems easy enough. Didn't take long for us to run empty. Just gotta wag the tail as I come up the ramp here myself. Whoops. Darn camera and having to move the chute in the back. Too far, but, you know, we'll get it covered. Oh, uh, no, it's, it's actually just fine.
Ooh, we advanced uh, up a level. Let's see. Profile. Skills. Uh, where is that one? That says asphalt capacity. So, wait a minute. There isn't... Oh, bulk material capacity. Okay, so there's bucket capacity. I got that maxed out. Fuel efficiency and, and uh, wear efficiency. Don't really care that much about. Fitness, don't really care that much about. Asphalt, we're really not getting into that just yet. So, bing. Uh, so that is all taken care of. Back into the crane for two rebar and pallets of concrete frame, uh, form work. I think I may have gotten only like three of them. Yeah, I think I see three of them there. So I need five in total. Uh, where am I going with these? I didn't see the marker anywhere, so... Oh, over here. All right. Oh, yeah, my camera angle changed again. Every time. Every flipping time. Laying the ground works for a parking deck. Is what we're doing. I don't know what it is. Every time I grab something out of the uh, supply area and move it out of there, I feel like I'm just making so much progress. Hopefully this is the right material. It looks like it. And it shall be. Of course, now that I put the skill point into bulk material... I probably won't have to do that again for a while, but you know what? It's good to have the skill point there, so when I need it, it's there. But that could be the same, said the same for the asphalt. Eventually, I'll get back into doing some road work. So I need two more of these at least. So I'm curious when I go back into the store, is it going to say I need five? Because I really haven't used them yet. Or what's it going to say? I have no idea. I could have sworn. Now it shows me the building store. What was there before that was in the way? I knew there was one down here. Uh, let's go to A. Filter by job. See, it says I need six. You know what? We'll just do that. And... We'll do that. And we'll just grab everything. If it goes in the warehouse, not that big of a deal. Wow, that's a lot of uh, material there again. But if that's all the material that I need, then... 
It's not too bad. So I think we'll grab this piece here. Since nighttime is upon us, I may go home, go to bed. And we'll pick up the rest of this uh, construction job next time. But we've come a long ways. Seeing that, like, the first third of this episode was putting the house together. Finishing up the house. Then we come down here and we got this all taken care of. Yeah, poor walls. Now I need the concrete pump. And we all know how much I love that thing. It's going to take me a while. It's not bad to set up. It's getting used to the arm on the pump and all that. But, yeah, we have to bring that down here. Then, of course, get the uh, cement mixer behind the concrete pump. Cement, concrete, you know what I'm saying. Uh, same thing, kind of. Almost the same thing. But, yeah, it's starting to come together. I'll have to pour the pillars, but I will have to do the walls. But not too bad. Uh, before long, we'll have a, a nice parking area for the whole city to park in. At least that's a plan and it'll look a little bit greener as well. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching. As always, I'll catch you again right here in Construction Simulator. But until then, have a good one.